For the past 20 years, I've been studying employer support of work and family. And when I first started looking at this issue, there was not a lot of employer activity in the area of child care and elder care. And my research has really grown over the years looking at how to adapt organizations to help individuals be successful on and off the job. There are two forms of support that organizations can do to help workers be good parents and be healthy and also be excellent employees. One is to increase cultural support of work and family, the idea that people can be good workers, and ideal workers, if they are not only committed to their jobs, but also committed to being whole people and good parents and good members of the community. And secondly, uh, there are formal policies that companies adopt, such as flex time to child care, and oftentimes those policies will go unused unless you have the cultural support. One thing that I've studied is this idea of flex styles, which is the different ways that people manage technology. Some of us are integrators and we like to hop in and out of work and family all day long, and others of us like to be separators. And I do think younger workers are much more likely to be multitaskers. So I think we've got to really have a new conversation about how to manage the quality of our relationships on and off the job and the attention we give on the job and off the job and the boundaries between work and home. Work and family and diversity are really very important issues for the 21st century and globally these issues are very important. Um, I'm on the board of a business school in Spain and I give talks all over the world on work and family issues and I think it shows that Michigan State is ahead of the curve to recognize that this is a core scholarship area and a core part of the employment relationship.